Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel AmSpit TV. My name is Amanda aka AmSpit and I am here with my first ever video on the weight loss tips and tricks series. In this video I will tell you how to actually lose weight no BS about it. There is no fat diets or magical home remedies to get rid of your fat just like that. These are all factual scientific ways to lose weight. So forget whatever everyone told you about how to lose weight and open your ears to what I have to say. Seco. Calories in equals calories out. If you eat less than what your body is able to burn, you will lose weight. Go to an online calorie calculator. Type in your information to find out how many calories you need to maintain your weight, referring to if you choose little to no exercise. From there, be in a deficit of no more than 500 calories. So if you have to maintain your weight by eating 1800 calories, then subtract 500 from 1800 and you will get 1300 which means you have to eat 1300 calories per day to lose weight. Then use this formula. This formula will determine how much weight you will lose in a day. If you want to know how much you will lose in a week, referring to if you eat and burn the same calories per day, then divide it by 500 instead of 3500. Seco is the only way to lose weight. The only reason those fad diets work is because you're eating at a caloric deficit. Calories in equals calories out. Those diets aren't special, they all follow that same principle. It's impossible to lose weight without being in a caloric deficit. You can literally eat anything you want and still lose weight. Heck, you can eat McDonald's for a week and still lose weight. Why? Because you're in a caloric deficit. So that is some bull. How these stupid diets are telling us not to eat certain foods or food group just because they think that it's going to make you fat. But it's not true. No food, not even fat or junk slash unhealthy foods can make you fat. What makes you fat is eating more than what your body is able to burn. Eat more, move more. If, if you want to eat more, then, then you have, have to move more. So you have to eat 1200 calories a day to lose weight. And you are still hungry but you don't want to be out of the color deficit because if you do, then you won't be able to lose as much weight as you tended to or worse, you could gain weight. Well, if you aren't exercising, then you should, so that you can burn calories, and the calories that you burn through exercising is the extra calories you get to eat. If you are currently exercising, then include active activities that will move your body that you enjoy doing, like dancing, yoga, sports, walking, jogging, etc. You should also do your chores, and while you do your chores, this is optional, but you can also incorporate strength training exercises to get a workout in while doing your chores. It's, it's a two for one, so take advantage of that. Eat, eat high volume foods. So, so you know you can eat whatever you want and lose weight. But, but we all know that eating pizza, fries, and burgers isn't going to fill you up unless you increase the size and or quantity of it. But if you do that, you'll increase the calories and we don't want that. Instead of eating or only eating high calorically dense foods, switch to low calorically dense foods. Low, low caloric, caloric dense, dense foods are foods you eat that are low in calories that fill you up, which, which helps you lose weight without feeling like you're on a diet. diet. Just remember to lose weight slowly, because your journey isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Try to aim for losing 2 pounds a week. I know it's going to be a long and hard journey, but believe me, it'll be worth it. I've tried losing weight fast, losing 5 plus pounds in a week, and then I ended up gaining it all back again, but that wasn't the worst part about it. I ended up developing eating disorders, and I'm still recovering from it, so please, take it slow. Weight loss isn't worth risking your life over, because once you achieve your dream body, you won't be able to enjoy it because you're probably not going to hang around friends and family anymore, since you're probably worried that they will make you eat. Serve you something you don't approve of, or you could get out of control seeing something you enjoy eating but have the mindset that you're not supposed to eat it, or a worst case scenario is that you will end up dead. We must enjoy our lives and bodies no matter the size. It's okay to hate your body now, but in order to achieve your body goals, you must take care of it now and remain stress free in order for change to happen. Good luck, and remember, you're not alone on this journey.